Welcome back, folks, to my place, Homestead Aquarius. And Wilson, well, yesterday when I made that um, uh, video for to help out uh, Keto Homestead with Jess, I wanted to get that out as fast as possible so we can, you know, get that moving. Um, you know, time is of the essence. And, and I, I clearly did not have enough coffee in me. Today, I assure you, I have. That's the last of a pot of coffee. If that don't do it, I don't know what will. And I tell you, since uh, since yesterday, and that was released, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of things come up about it. Um, a lot of things that Jess and uh, Wilson and I have been thinking about. <laughs> you see what I did there? We've been thinking about that. All right, bear with me. That's the last pun. Okay. All right. We've been thinking about some things. Things have been brought up by people that are trying to help. And so I want to make this a little bit clearer. And um, let's see. So I'm going to answer some questions for you. Um, how do I help? Okay. You can just look at this right here and do a screenshot and uh, listen no more to this boring man if you want to. Right. Okay. Here's what you do, all right? You go over to, let me get, let me get something out of the way. Let me get this coffee out of the way. That's, <laughs> that coffee's the precious, y'all. And I want you to understand something. I'm doing this cardboard in this impromptu session for a reason, okay? This cardboard and, and this writing here with all its mistakes is kind of my way of honoring someone else that is out there. He's a good man doing great things. Um, I like to, I like to help people find people like that. And that's, uh, I'll tell you about him in a minute. Some of you may already know, get you a piece of cardboard and start writing things down. Okay. The first thing you do is you go over, if you want to help, um, if you want to buy raffle tickets for the seed box from yesterday, um, what you do is you go over to, and I can't see anything for the glare, right? But y'all not supposed to see me neither. Let's see here. Keto Homestead with Jess. I'll leave a link for her video and you slide over. Okay. Have I messed up here? Slide over to her about page. When you get there, you will find that she has many payment options, okay? And you just choose the one that works for you. Now, and, and, and use that link. I will not have a link in this video to it. I want you to go and use her official links. Nothing that I have put down here. That helps ensure that nothing is, it can go wrong with that. There's enough of trouble with people. Um, I don't want anything to do with that. That's, that's y'all's deal. Um, but here's what you need to do. You need to choose a payment method, uh, that works for you. You need to let Jess know who you are. I don't use these, um, apps so far in my life, so I don't know how they work, but you need to be able to identify yourself. Tell Jess who you are by your channel name or your real name, whatever you want to do, and how much money um, uh, it's for, how much money you're donating, and if it's for the raffle tickets, okay? Um, now, you can simply donate, but if you want your donation to be a part of the raffle, make sure that you make notes on your uh, transaction of whatever you're doing there. Uh, we need to know who you are and we need to know what your, your money is going for. Is it just a simple donation, which is fine? Or, uh, do you want to enter the raffle? And that's fine. Um, let's see how many tickets do you want just to make sure that we've got everything squared away. Um, ele electronic things can go wrong. Sometimes we want to make sure everybody gets proper credit and, and, uh, their money goes to where they need. And we also need a valid email address for you so that we can contact you in case you're not aware that you won. 
and we'll and that's when we'll get address information and things like that right now we just need to know who you are and how to contact you and how many tickets or, or if it's just for a donation and there, there's um you know when the payment is processed you will be entered and your tickets will be secured um that's important there's there's people that are wanting to give and donate and i tell you what i have been so proud of people there have been people sharing out the video and getting the word out and uh, going over and seeing Jess. And because of that, we have had these, these questions come up so that we can answer them. You people are incredible. Uh, when you talk about someone's, um, you know, farm and their home, we know a lot of people right now are, are getting in trouble with that, you know. And this is one family that we're coming together to help. Um, but uh, anyhow, we know what we're doing here. Just wanted to give you that. Now, I wanted to do one more thing here. And on while we're talking about this, I was thinking um, about how we should treat each other. And not just for this video, but in your life. Um, I'm, this is the part where I'm going to get preachy for a second. And here you go. Here you can screenshot out if you want to. This old man getting preachy. But we hear a lot about sustainability in our world. Well, how about this? Love and kindness is sustainable. It's recyclable, reusable, and can be repurposed. It's always in style, and it always fits. Um... I always try to first do no harm what I'm doing. First do no harm when I'm trying to help somebody or do something. That's important for us as humans, I think. It's not just for us or one other person, but this is for the people that come down the line from us, the people that we help, for the, the little trees that we get started today, the, the, like me, the old man that starts a tree under which he'll never sit, right? It's for the people that have come after us, whether they be our children or grandchildren or someone else's. If we're all planting fruit trees and being kind to one another, these things flow with time down to the people that follow us and to our neighbors. Um, do unto others as you would have do unto you. And check out Die Bullfrog 79. He's also known as Uncle Al. He lets me call him Uncle Al, but he's a crazy old coot, and I hope that he's having a nice day, and I hope that you are too. Think about these things. We all have a choice in our lives. Are we going to let our energy be used for the better things in life or the worst? You want to recycle some love, put that out there, or hate, you know? Now, there is a time to pick up a sword and a time to put down a sword. I understand that. But think about this. The more we fight one another and have hatred to one another, it just hurts us all. You put a bunch of people in a box somewhere and, and give them two choices. Pardon the muffler, the loud muffler there. And you tell them, hey, do y'all want to fight? You know, just stay in here and fight. Well, pretty soon everybody's going to be hurt and then pretty soon dead. Or do you want to help each other? Well, the earth is a lot like that. It's just a, a small place in a huge universe. And there's more people being born every day. So do we want to fight with each other, hurt each other, profit off of one another? Or do we want to reach out a hand to help one another? When we're helping one another, we get stronger. Okay, preaching's over. Y'all be good. And uh, check out Die Bullfrog 79. He's helping a lot of people out there. And um, go over to see Homestead with Jess, Keto Homestead with Jess, and help that family save their farm. Thank you to all of you that have helped her before this raffle and the ones buying raffle tickets and everything. Um, we appreciate you. And uh, maybe... Uh, the laws of the universe yeah, will come back and it will help you. That's what it's about, right? Helping one another. Y'all take care and have a great day.